In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert currencies in Airtable. To do that, we're going to use a free currency conversion API and the Data Fetcher Airtable app. The first thing you need to do is go to the apps dashboard in Airtable and install the Data Fetcher app from the marketplace. Once you've installed it, you'll be prompted to sign up for a free Data Fetcher account or sign into your existing one. Signing up keeps your API details secure and safe from other people that are looking at your base. Once you land on the home screen, click Create Request and you can call the request Convert Currencies. Then close the app and we're going to set up our transactions table with some currencies and amounts that we want to convert. So the first thing to do is to add a field we we'll type single line text and the name currency. Then add another field with we'll type amount and type number. With name amount and type number. So enter in some currencies that you want to convert. For example, GVP, Euros and Canadian dollars. So we're going to convert all of these into US dollars. Then enter the amount for each. We're going to use this later to calculate an amount in US dollars as well. So open up Data Fetcher again and copy in this URL. If you go to the blog post in the video description, you can find this URL there. So then we're going to add some parameters. So the first one to add is uh, two, the name two, and the value USD. And this is the currency we want to convert to. Now, if you want to use a different currency, you can use, you can put that in here. The next one is from, and this is the currency we're converting from. Now we want to use the values from our table. So we're going to click this little button here on the right hand side. We're going to select the table transactions and then pick the field currency. Then click confirm. And you can see that that's got a reference to the table now. And you can also see that it's updated the full URL here. Scroll down and for the output table, click use current to use the transactions table and use current again to select the grid view, the current view. Then go into the advanced settings where it says run on multiple records, click use current. And then for the view, click grid view or use current to get grid view. Now this just means that we're going to run a separate request for each different record in our transactions table. Finally click run. You can toggle this switch to hide this warning in the future. And this modal pops up where we've got the different fields that come back from the API. So click show response to show the actual API response. Click filter all to hide all of these. And then select result. Now this is the actual currency rate that comes back from the API. So we're going to create a new field called exchange rate. Click confirm and data fetcher is going to run that request again, create the necessary fields and update each record. So you can see that we've got the exchange rate in the amount of dollars for each of one of this, sorry, the amount of dollars for one of this currency. Um, and that's coming back from the API here. So finally click save, then create a new field called amount in US dollars. We we'll type formula and the simple formula of amount times exchange rate for the formatting for that currency. And you can see here that we're doing the amount here that we've got in this currency, so imagine each of these is a transaction in a certain amount, a certain exchange rate, and that's the amount in dollars. So we've con converted currency in Airtable. So the last thing we want to do is show how that we how we'd convert those currencies on a particular date. So a date in the past when the transaction actually happened, rather than the latest rates. So these rates at the moment are the latest exchange rates, the ones that are present at the moment. Um, but perhaps these transactions happened in the past. 
So let's create a new field called date with type date. And we're going to select some dates in the past. And then create a formula field. So create a new field called formatted date. We type formula. And use the formula date str, which is an Airtable function that will convert this date into a string. And then in the um, within the brackets, type the word date or the field date. And that's going to create a new field with the date as a string. And the reason we're doing that is that that's what the API needs. Um, so the API expects a, a date in this format. So then go back into data fetcher, add a new field called date. Sorry, a new parameter called date. Um, and then the parameter value, click the add button again, select the transactions table, select the formatted date, click confirm. And you can click save to save the request. And then if we run this request again, we'll see the exchange rates change. So they change to the value on this date rather than the latest value. 